Hello everybody, my name is Edgar and I am from the Bank Group. Today, I am going to walk you through creating a news digest for Outlook and SharePoint. News in SharePoint is a great way to communicate with your organization regarding updates or important events. Usually, in organizations, people often mention that they forget to check their SharePoint for updates, but they are always up to date with their emails. One way we can leverage that is with News Digest. News Digest is essentially a newsletter that SharePoint will send to your Outlook inbox containing the news updates that you select. This is great when you need to share important news articles and want to know that people are receiving that information. Now, let me show you how easy it is to set up this powerful communication feature. Once you're on SharePoint, navigate to a site that holds all the news that you want to share with your organization. On this site, on the news web part, click See All. This will act as a page that holds all the news posted to the site. In order to start creating the news digest, on the top left corner, we're going to click Email and News Digest. Once we click that, we'll have the option to choose the post we want to include in our news digest. So for this example, we'll just choose the top three results. We just click the check boxes, and then once we've selected the ones we want to include, we'll click Next on the bottom right. On this page, we'll be able to add a title and start customizing our news digest. So for this example, we we'll just call it our August News Digest. And below the title, we'll be able to choose our recipients for our news digest. You can either include Office 365 groups or individuals, but for this example, we'll just send it to Adele Vance. We also have the option to add an optional message on the bottom. And below that, we'll be able to reorganize our news post the way we want it. We can also have the option to remove different news posts if we added one too many. Once you're happy with how your news digest looks, we could click Send News Digest on the bottom right. We'll get a notification on the top of our screen that the news digest has sent and will be taken back to our news page. Now that we have sent our news digest, if we check on Adele Vance's Outlook, we can see that the news digest has been sent to our inbox. Here's what the email will look like. The user will be able to see a thumbnail and a snippet of each news post that was added onto the newsletter. If the user clicks on the title of a news post, they'll be redirected to the news page itself, just like this. At the end of the email, there will also have a link to the SharePoint site that houses these news posts as well. Now you know how to easily create a news digest for a SharePoint site. I hope this helps improve communication within your organization. Please make sure to like the video if you find it helpful and follow the Brain Group channel for more.